past. There's a concert in Albuquerque tonight, some bad weather possibly for the Yeah, them, so. luckily, it looks like we should be fine because east winds are kind of shredding the storms. Let's take a look first at a little bit of video we have. You can see a lot of those storms are out to the west. We had some rain here and there, beautiful lightning shots. A photographer, photojournalist, I think, there, no, I think a big eye cam picked this up. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, rain and thunderstorms, unfortunately, just some uh, light shows in the distance. As we take a look right now at what we're dealing with in Albuquerque, you can see these storms trying to come up. This is on the west side, which you just saw, but the east winds are roaring out of the canyon and they just dissipate them. So we're not getting the great storms we'd like. You can see them able to develop, though, closer to the Santa Domingo Pueblo. As we look to uh, the southwest, storms over Socorro right now. See those kind of moving up into Berlin and Los Lunas. And then also as we scoot over to the southeast, Roswell had some storms earlier. They're starting to fall apart a little bit, but uh, moving a little north. And we still have some uh, availability of moisture to get these storms going once again on the next few hours. As we look to the north and northeast, storms moving into Las Vegas, also crossing I-40. Some pretty strong storms over Santa Rosa earlier in Tucumcari, and also in Taos, a pretty busy day. Uh, we had a beautiful picture uh, that Robin sent us. Looks like a postcard. So we call this one Postcards from Taos. This is, uh, I think, Pueblo Mountain, she said. Very beautiful shot. Uh, thank you, sent to us via reported. The cold front is working in conjunction with high pressure. High pressure kind of streams of moisture in, and that cold front rams right into it and helps pop, uh, pop these storms up in the air. And we're going to continue to see that front push through and keep things active as we get going into the overnight hours. So we'll look for storms in the north. This is 10 p.m. starting our storm track. We get the clock rolling. Still sticking around overnight in the northeast. And even tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we're seeing uh, some thunderstorms in the north and northeast. Albuquerque, as that front comes through, it's going to pick up our wind. So it's windy right now. Tomorrow morning, we could see gusts up to 45 miles per hour under a wind advisory. And we're watching for possible flooding tomorrow in the northwest. This is 4 p.m., also northern New Mexico, western New Mexico, because uh, slow-moving storms could create some problems. Another shot at thunderstorms in Albuquerque tomorrow, and then Monday, unfortunately, going to thin things out. Tomorrow is a kind of last day for great chances for thunderstorms. Flash flood watch tomorrow. That's until 10 p.m. for the areas you see shaded in green. So Gallup, Grants, Farmington, Chama, you guys, uh, we're going to keep a close eye on things. Our high pressure is going to return, though, as we get into the middle of the week. It'll squash our storm chances, heat us up, and kind of keep the storm activity mainly in the mountains, unfortunately. There's those east winds that kind of decimated in our storms there at 29 miles per hour. They'll continue overnight. You might hear them howling out and about um, to, uh, tonight and then again tomorrow morning. Let's do the numbers for southern Colorado. Afternoon thunderstorms for tomorrow, 40% chance. Could see some flooding in the southern San Juan, so we'll keep an eye out for you. And then as we get in the middle of the week, it's going to be isolated storms with temperatures in the mid to low 80s. Farmington, 88, scattered thunderstorms, flash flood watch in this area for tomorrow. Could see some heavy rain and flooding. Monday, a chance for thunderstorms. Well, it's a decent chance. And then really after that, we're going to thin storm chances down to 10, 20 percent and also raise temperatures. In the southwest, thunderstorms on tap for you guys. Best chances will be in the mountains. Not to say that Deming won't get a storm, but Glenwood and uh, Kemato would be favored more so. And then Silver City, expect temperatures to uh, just hang out in the uh, upper 80s all week. Rain in the southeast, another shot for tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, still working with that, but then that high kind of moves over, dries things out, and we're going to start to turn up the heat here as well, 101 on Tuesday, and then briefly down to the 90s or mid-90s. Northeast New Mexico storms tonight, continuing tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon. Monday and Tuesday hold good chances in Las Vegas, and then real hit and miss stuff after that with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Storms tonight in the northern mountains when you get up, and then tomorrow afternoon we'll be dealing with thunderstorms. A good chance Monday, we're talking eh, 30, 40 percent chance in Santa Fe, and then we're going to kind of slow things down on the storm uh, activity as far as Santa Fe goes because things are going to dry up a little bit in the lower valley locations or lower mountain locations. Partly cloudy in the East Mountains, 82, 83 in Mountain Air, storms for tomorrow. And then in Albuquerque, uh, we could still see a storm tonight. And then as we get into tomorrow, another chance. We're looking at about 30, 40% chance for a thunderstorm. But really, tomorrow, if we don't see it, it's going to be hard to come by for the rest of the week. We have them in each day of the forecast, but it'll be a storm that develops and you know holds together and rolls over the Sandias, but nothing amazing. Okay, thank you, Ian. Tax-free week.